Hello everyone, this is Sumit and in this video I'm going to show you how can you make authentication system using local storage in React. So we will use local storage as our what we can say API system or whatever. So let's get started. So let's create app using npx create React app and I'm going to use the name auth. So I'm pausing the video while it's creating the app so okay so now it has been done and now let's go inside the folder and let's run the app using npm start if you don't know about how it is working and how react works uh, you can tell me in the comment i can make video on that and other things and if you will not be able to understand anything in this video you can tell me in the comment section so I will explain you in the next video or in later videos. So it's starting. Okay. Now you can see here we have successfully created and that. Okay. So now let's open the new terminal and I mean new session and from here let's go inside the source folder. There are all the necessary files are there. And let's make a directory called components. In which we will put our all components. And now let's go inside the components and let's open the micro editor. Micro is an editor that we are gonna use. If you want to use another editor, that is something like Nano or BIM, you can use probably use that. So let's import a React file, and I'm gonna. Use Save this file as a main screen.js. So let me quickly turn the all the necessary things. Okay, now let's create one more file. There is a sign up.js in which we will put our inputs data and we will do all this stuff here. So why we have created the main screen? I have already told you. We will change our scheme from there. That's why we have created it. So let's change the name as sign up, also the class name, and the export. And now inside that main skin.js, let's import it. And now if you want to take the input from the user, you have to use input. So we are gonna use input and type should be text. And I'm gonna use this for three times, one for password and one for confirm password. So let's copy it. And now let's put a placeholder as a username. Now, yeah. And we are gonna put all these data inside a variable. So I'm gonna import use state hook. Basically you use state why we are using view a state hook. If you don't know, uh, this is basically used when if you want to render on the DOM something like on uh, on changes uh, I mean if you change the username it will show the changes on the DOM use state hook takes two variables one is for taking the value from the use state hook that means if you uh, that is a, here you can see one is username and another is set username that means we can fetch the data Fetch the username using the username, and we can set or change the username. You can set username. Yeah. So on change, we are gonna use here. On change means when somebody changes the variable or changes the input, it will reflect. Yeah. So that is set username. We will set the value of input inside the username. And I will all, I'm gonna also use the value. Why I'm using this? Because uh, when I will sign up, I will remove all the data from the input. That's why I'm using this. So if I change this set input, it will automatically remove the data from the input. That's why I'm using this. So now let's copy this one for password. And let's say set password. Yep. 
वन इज़ फॉर पासवर्ड वन एंड वन इज अनदर इज़ फॉर पासवर्ड टू एंड सो हियर आई एम गोन पुट वन मोर ऑप्शन फॉर सो पासवर्ड एंड हाइट पासवर्ड सो हियर आई एम पास टाइप एंड सेट पास टाइप आई विल आई विल डू आई मीन आई विल टॉगल द वैल्यू बिटवीन ट्रू एंड फॉल्स या दैट्स आई एम डूइंग दैट so one is password one is for one password one and another is for password two so let's initially it is true that mean it should be a password type so instead of this text i'm going to use a value so if the password type one is true that mean it the type is password and otherwise and otherwise it is text so let's put a button for that and inside that i'm going to pass this because I, i also want to change the text of the button that is so and high yeah and now let's put the on click argument and that should be a inline function and in which i will set the pass type one and i want to toggle between true and false that's why i will change it to that is not password one that is if it is true it will change to false and vice versa so now let's open the app.js and also the app.css and let's remove all the unnecessary things and that is a header and let's import the main scheme so we will be able to see the data what is going on yeah now you can see here we can do both of the things now so i'm going to copy paste this all all these item for the confirm password and i'm going to change all these name to two So let the password type two, set password type two, password type two, and password type two. Yeah, that is done. Yeah, that's that's okay. Okay now, let's make these on change and the value for all these things. Done. So, so let me quickly turn that, and now I'm just going. Now it's time to create a button for sign up. Let's create. And let's say sign up and on click. I will call a function that should be a handle sign. Now let's define a function and okay. Let's say if password one is equal to equal to password two. then we will do something otherwise we will raise uh, an error or something like we can say the alert that we will say password is not passwords are not matching now it's time to create the main part of our application that is we are going to take the data from the data database not database from the storage so we are going to use a variable because we will change this value so let's take a local storage and the value auth i mean we will save the data as a auth right that's why we are getting that so if auth is null that is initially so then then we will say auth is equals to empty dictionary empty array that should be and we will define if the passwords are same then we will define auth is equals to initial auth plus the new value yeah and we will also do one more thing that is if the username exist user i mean if the username exist then we will also raise an alert so let's do it so here i am going to create a constant called same if the if there is something same inside uh, what can we say auth 
inside or is there if there anything same there is it will put all the data inside the same same is a i mean we will filter the data from the auth if the d dot username or that currently username is same so actually auth is a list that's why I'm, and it is not a travel if there is nothing inside that so i'm that's why i'm putting the dummy value if there is not if initially is is null so if the same dot length is zero that means there is nothing like username inside uh, that means uh, username no is not access then it will put the auth and otherwise it will raise the alert user exists and after that i will put all the value values and inside the local storage as a auth and then i will do one more thing i will set the username as a empty and the password one and also the password two and now let's save it and run it okay we are getting this is a because uh, we are fetching the data as a string not as a array of objects so let's change it to json dot parse and this will definitely solve our issue and also uh, we have to save the data as json dot string file and now let's save the file and run again passwords are not same okay now we have saved that and now z z exists okay so we can do one more thing that is we can inside app.css i hope you can do on your own way so i'm just showing you how can you do that let's say margin 30 pixel or 40 pixel and you can see here this reflects the whole screen from the main screen i'm passing the function called after sign up so it will change the screen or we can change the screen from there right right from there I, i'm just showing how can we do that so let's make a constant called after sign up or function and that's an arrow function and in which we will take the user so we can so the username on the screen or whatever we want to do so let's say alert user plus sign up successfully and inside the sign up dot js we will call this function right so from here we will first we have to take the pro and on click here after saving the data we will call that function okay, okay now let's say props dot the name of the function or the name of the props that is after sign up okay now let's check it's working or not so let's save it okay undefined because we are not passing the username so let's pass the username and let's try again yeah dd sign up successfully now we can do one more thing that is let's take a use state hook and make a variable called screen and variable yeah because we will change this time to time and set a screen initially it is this screen should be sign up screen so now i'm gonna copy paste from here and use the screen instead of that and we can also change the screen directly from the after calling the function let's say set screen and then we can say some other screen and so on and i'm not going to going to do that here i'm just showing how can we do that so let's save it oh i'm getting error because of this and now i'm getting another error because i'm defining i'm using the function before defining it so let's save it and and run it and 
yeah that's working fine and that's enough for this video and don't forget to comment because i want to know what you are thinking about this video and this type of video and if you want these type of videos again and again please tell me in the comment section thank you for watching take care bye bye